It's Ashley from Sweet Dreams Bake Shop. And today I'm gonna to be showing you the way that I put together gingerbread houses within minutes, zero drying time. Now I've been using this technique for years and didn't really realize it was a hack until I saw an article on it. So I thought I would make my own video. So take your royal icing bags and literally throw them in the garbage. Just kidding. But honestly, if you wanna make structures like this, you're definitely going to need to use this. So I went out and bought one of these very typical gingerbread house kits because I'm actually going to be using it for another video as well. Typically these kits come with these bags which are never going to really work when putting your structure together. It's going to take forever. You're going to have to prop things up and I'm going to show you a way where you don't have to prop things at all. So firstly, I'm gonna take out all of my pieces here. It seems like a pretty typical gingerbread kit. You've got the roof pieces, the side pieces, and then you also have the front of the house. If this is your first time using this hack, then using smaller pieces at first is easier until you get the hang of it. So all you need to do is take some regular granulated sugar, and I don't recommend that you use brown sugar just because it's harder to tell when it's come to temperature. Literally all you're doing to this is you're melting it down until it turns into a soupy-like texture. Don't worry if it gets chunky like this. All you need to do is stir it. I just didn't stir mine in time and that's why it ends up looking a little bit chunky like this. But honestly, this is not like candy making. It's a lot more forgiving. I always utilize my gingerbread house structures as just pieces of things to look at. But what's great about this technique is you can consume it. We're gonna put a little bit of sugar on the side of the house. Now you do wanna decide where you want that sugar to be. If you want that sugar more hidden, there is a way to do that and I will show you that, but I'm gonna be covering this in icing anyway, so I'm not going to be too picky. So as you can see, I just dipped it in there and I'm leaving it right standing up right away. Now you can't do that with royal icing. I find it always comes apart for some reason. So this way is the surefire way to make any structure of any size stand up right away. And I am leaving this whole section in real time so you can see how quickly it actually comes together. Now, when you're putting it together, there is a little bit of leeway time. So obviously the hotter your sugar is, the more time that you have to kind of play around with it. You can see I'm just moving things into place, but with all types of candy making and whenever you're working with sugar, it does hit a certain point all of a sudden where things are really hardened and you won't be able to move things anymore. So just a pre-warning, the longer that you leave that sugar off of the stove and off of the heat, the less time you have to play around with things because it will harden a lot more quickly. So earlier I talked about how to put that sugar on there without it showing on the outside and this is exactly how you do it. So you hold up your piece and then you're actually going to take spoonfuls of sugar and you're going to drop it down into the crevices. Now this isn't a surefire way that none of the sugar will show through, especially with these pre-made kits because you're not the one in control of the shape of the gingerbread. But if the sugar does end up showing through, it'll be very, very minimal. As someone who struggled for a long time to get their gingerbread houses standing with royal icing, once I learned this trick, this was so, so satisfying. I highly suggest if you're utilizing this technique to make gingerbread DIY kits for gifts or maybe you're selling them out of your bakery, that you reinforce all of the edges to make sure that it is super, super strong. So I'm just taking some extra sugar here and I'm putting it in all those little cracks and crevices so it really is not going to go anywhere. Now you can see it doesn't look that beautiful on the inside, but it really is not going to matter. Now we're just putting some sugar on the edge here for the roof, and all you're going to do is place a little bit on there and stick your roof right on. And usually I used to prop cans underneath the roof. It would take forever because the roof is so heavy, but it honestly just stuck in seconds there. Because my sugar is cooling down little by little, it's going faster and faster. So literally I'm going to stick on the roof piece and it's going to stick immediately. This technique is also great if you want to do 2D cookie standing figures. Normally my tutorial videos are hours long that I break down into much, much shorter segments for you, but honestly, I only took out maybe one or two minutes. And I'm lifting the chimney here to show you just how strong it is. I can literally pick up the house by the chimney. 
Now let's get into some pertinent tips for this gingerbread hack. So tip number one is the cleanup. Now you might be thinking, how am I supposed to clean up all of that sugar? All you need to do is you just need to heat it back on the stove after it's hardened up, and then you take it and you pour it onto a piece of parchment, and then you can just dump it out. Tip number two is regarding leakage. So sometimes if your temperature is not that great, you might get a little bit of leakage. What I suggest in that instance is to cover everything in royal icing and then do a second coat. If you do a second coat, you're bound to make sure that none of that sugar shows through. And my final tip is regarding the temperature of the sugar. So you really don't have to be that picky. You don't have to grab your thermometer. It's really just once all of that sugar is dissolved, you're ready to use it. And if it hardens up on you while you're using it, then just put it back on the stove and reheat it. Now you might get a slight burnt sugar taste to it. So if you are actually going to eat this and you're looking at it as a dessert piece, then you might just want to be a little bit more sparing where you put that sugar sugar. Because this hack can withstand so much weight, you're able to make really, really large gingerbread creations. Now you're probably wondering, hey, why isn't your gingerbread house decorated? But I'm going to be showing you how to turn this into a masterpiece. So make sure you come back for tomorrow's video. Thanks so much for watching, guys. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe so you can be part of the Sweetie Fam. Right now, I'm uploading daily, so make sure you hit that notification bell so you know when I upload. Also, be sure to comment, request, or ask a question. I love hearing from you guys. Bye!